First of all, Magnusites, I'd like to introduce myself. I'm Batman. Second of all, I don't believe a word of what this article says. It's too close to April Fools. And it's probably a prank being pulled by none other than the Joker. Yeah, Magnusites, I don't know if I believe this shit, goddammit. Alright? I have been fooled and tricked and led to believe over and over and over by Warner Brothers and all these damn rumors about when the trailer for Batman v Superman is coming out. It's like a man that pimping a girl keep telling he's gonna marry her or he's gonna make him make make her his bottom bitch. You know what I mean? Just make her the, the best thing in the world and he keep playing around. But let's get into this article. Like I said, I don't believe it. As far as I'm concerned, this is a rumor. Ain't nothing confirmed. I don't believe it. This is one of the only ones that I'm really not going to have too much fun speculating with because I had heard too many rumors, but let's get into this. So, it says, uh, ever since Warner Brothers announced its Man of Steel follow-up, Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice, I've been waiting to see a trailer. Obviously, those at Comic-Con last year got to see a tiny bit of footage from the film, but Warner Brothers never officially released it. So most people have yet to see anything, which brings me to today's update. After speaking with a few sources, I'm happy to report that the first Batman v Superman trailer is on the cusp of being released. I'm told it's absolutely attached to all copies of Mad Max Fury Road. I don't believe it which is an obvious place to uh, for it to debut, seeing as how Mad Max is Warner Brothers' first big movie of the summer. What I've heard is that Warner isn't sure it wants to release the trailer while Avengers Age of Ultron is destroying records and driving all social traffic during the end of April and early May. If they wait until the weekend Mad Max opens on May 15th, Avengers will have already been out for two weeks, and they can take over the conversation at the time, when everyone is ready to talk about Batman and Superman. The bottom line is we will absolutely have seen the first Batman v Superman trailer by May 15th. I don't believe it yet. While some of you might be saying they should release the trailer now and throw caution to the wind, the science behind marketing is much trickier than simply releasing something when it's ready. When you're building the campaign to a hugely expensive movie that has to open to massive amounts of money and kick open the doors to future DC movies, you need everything to be perfect. You need to make sure everyone is talking about your trailer and by extension, your movie. If you release the trailer during the surge in Avengers Age of Ultron interest, which will also have the new Star Wars The Force Awakens trailer on it, you run the risk of people comparing your footage to Star Wars and Avengers or getting lost in a crowded conversation. That's true. Even if your trailer is jaw-dropping, and you think you've got the goods, why risk it? I think Warner Brothers is making the smart play here with the way they're unveiling the Batman v Superman trailer. Go with Mad Max, get a bit of breathing room between Batman v Superman and Disney's big guns, take over the conversation and own the middle of May all to yourself. Of course, things change all the time in Hollywood, so it's possible the Batman v Superman trailer could end up getting released before Avengers Age of Ultron, so Warner Brothers can be the first. But no matter, when the trailer actually gets unveiled in the coming weeks, if you see Mad Max Fury Road in a theater, you will also get to see some footage from what's sure to be one of 2016's biggest films. And I cannot wait. I absolutely love Zack Snyder's Man of Steel. I love the way he grounded Superman in the real world, only finding his smile when he discovered who he really was. I loved the amazing iconic score of Hans Zimmer. I love the opening scenes on Krypton, which felt like a real place and was everything the Green Lantern movie should have been. And I love the entire cast, which was made up of great eclectic actors who each brought their A-game. If Man of Steel is ever 
to is ever on cable or playing in the background. I'm hooked. It's just one of those movies that has its teeth in me. That's what the first ever Superman did to me. Anytime it's on TV, I stop to watch it. Um, I'm hoping Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice has the same effect when it opens in theaters March 25th, 2016. Yeah, so like I said, Batman doesn't believe a word of what this article says. Tomorrow's April 1st, April Fool's Joker Day. <laughs> I don't believe it, Magnesites. So, tell me down below in the comment section, do you believe it? Do you not believe it? Do you think this is true confirmed information? Okay? Um, I personally, I'm just waiting. I'm like, fuck it. Y'all done played with my emotions too much. I'm a bitter, battered woman that's ready to leave, WB. Although you know I'm coming back to you when you release it. I'm, I'm still your bitch. I'm, I'm going to be at the theater <laughs> when Ben and Henry gets it in. You get what I'm saying? But I'm saying I'm not believing no more of this shit. Okay, what's going to happen is one of my Magnesites, WB, one of my Magnesites is going to post a comment, Hey, I just saw a man next to the road. It's in there, Tyrone. It's in there. Then I'm going to go see it. Or I'm going to wait for y'all to post it and I'm going to do my reaction. Then I'm going to go see it. Because then my first reaction will be in the theater. And the Magnesites won't get to see me react to such epicness. So, if uh, you enjoyed my video, hit the like button. If you did not, hit the like button and subscribe. One million subscribers. Hold on, wearing hockey pants.